Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive here, fine tuning cbshop.com. Look around a little bit. We're going to bring this into the equation also. Okay? By the way, I don't know, 20 years old, maybe more? I tell a lot of guys to go buy them. It's an FM 27, it's a flute. It's a damn good meter. I have some people say, why don't you buy a newer one? I don't need to. The damn thing works really good. It's really durable. <laughs> Look around, different stuff hooked up. Right. We've got a 497 right there. We're going to talk about here shortly. But I want to hit my vapor thing real quick. Oh. This has to do with microphones. AC bolts, a lot of different things. Okay. Anyways, this is what it is. Let me get the camera so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I just turned upside down. At least it did for me. All right. See? Okay. See? Yeah, she's touchy, but normally you're not dealing with hurts. All right, okay. You see what's going on there, right? Cool. Get this out of the way. Yes, I'm very particular about my cables. All right. So now we know what that is, and that it produces an extremely clean wave. See, that puppy there is an old analog. You can buy those, but you can't buy them to do what it's doing unless you modify it. I've been modifying my stuff since like the early 80s in a truck. You couldn't get the stuff. Stop. I started stopping by Mauser and that little brick building in the front of Mansfield. And uh, tents outside and golf carts. You had to, you know, go in the little golf cart, get all your parts. Mauser's really come a long ways. And they've always been a great company for me. Anyways. Every time I call. I mentioned the golf cart things. Not many people remember that anymore, but anyways, you want to hear about the babble? Okay. Now, let's plug this in. Let's get things back to pretty much normal. Turn this on. It's millivolts. Okay. I'm gonna have to move around a little bit so I don't touch things and knock things over. But you can pretty much see what's going on. All right. Mark, here is the radio striker 497 HPC. Do your blah 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 blah. Go ahead. Done by. Blah. blah. Oh, Troy with two L's. <laughs> you know whose it is. Okay. All right. Now there are specifications on this. They're basically like for a repair shop, warranty service center, person with a book. Yeah, I'm not mocking a book, you know, like the owner of the service manual. But you got to have a standard to start somewhere. You can go way beyond that, but you have to have a standard. So, read the books, and you're going to see some of the numbers and the formulas and the settings. All right, now I'm going to go to half power on this radio. All right, you can see how we're turning things up. Normally, it's 30 millivolts, okay, you'd be able to achieve 100% modulation. The voltage is going to change according to frequency and input at the mic socket. That all changes. I'm going to show you some interesting things with the mic too. Okay. Now we're going to, all right, see what's going on there? See that? I'm going to go to full power. Now, to achieve 100% modulation, I'm going to crank this thing up. Okay. Say 45 millivolts. As we change tone, 
that'll also change. Is it what 50? Yeah. But that's a little bit over modulated. But that still doesn't necessarily mean that we're not achieving all the frequency at the positive negative peak ratio at under 100 percent at a 4 to 1. Right, so now that we've seen that, now let's leave that cranked up, turn it down. Now all of a sudden, you know, we're at 39. Turn it all the way down, and we're over modulating like hell. Now in the same token, you probably like this guy. Yeah, this is all passed through. It's all wired. This bench is wired from go back to doing this in extremely small environments and most of the stuff wasn't even available back then. You had to make all your own stuff. You know? Yeah, make your own stuff. I still kind of do that. And there's some other guys on, on YouTube too, the ham guys. <laughs> yeah. You do some really cool stuff, man. Really cool. Anyways, uh, getting back to this here. Mike. Audio six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think you can see the ohmmeter in there. Yeah, you can see it. Audio. Now I'm gonna go. Audio. All right. Let me watch this also. Go back to like half power. All right. We're unmodulated. We're modulated. At one k tone, around thirty change tones lots of changing going on huh turn back down get back to normal here okay also well I have to use I can't plug another mic in there and show you the readings I have to whatever I have plugged into this see my test mic is plugged into the back of this it all passes through it senses the resistor the load you know and it'll display everything when I'm reverse engineering radios or doing tests and modifying this is what I'm sitting here doing I don't normally move a lot of stuff around have a camera here so I'm very particular about my connections not breaking and snapping things off you know so let me get this out of the way now we got that stuff out of the way. Oh yeah, by the way, these are still the original leads on this. Literally. This thing is at least 20 years old. Now, I don't know, a year or so ago, I uh, rolled over the leads, the positive side, with my chair. And I broke it. and I, couldn't, I broke the, the probe off couldn't be fixed so I put these on there and I've got all kinds of different sets just like everybody else does if you take care of your stuff and buy a good meter they last but you gotta take care of it alright so let's get back into the basic everyday thing that we do by the way I'm not putting this down every one of these I don't know why they're using the SO239 that they use on the 497 but they suck okay See what I mean? I'm gonna move it. They, I just don't like them. All right. So the wave doesn't look bad. Okay, it's not bad. Nothing's been touched on the inside of the radio. I did test the receive. I don't know if we're gonna carry on with this video and go that far. The receive sucks. Right. So now you can see some IND, some spurious emissions. We're set at a 30 megahertz span. That's full power. And you see that it's, let's say, say a 30, okay, millivolts. I mean, I know where the settings are, by the way. I do this in my sleep. It's under modulated, right? I'm just talking to the mic, see? Right there, one, two, three, four, five, just talking normal. It's not really doing anything. Forget that. Look at the scope, one, two. The resolution of that meter, the analog meter, they're, they're cool, but they can't read everything that you're doing and all the sounds of the human voice the meter would explode like sonic you know go so fast the rotation of a proper blow apart well that can't that's like the same thing the meter all right 
So don't always stare at a meter and think that it's accurate. On a tuned bench, yes, under a testing environment. But here, I'll talk normal again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. A bit closer. Focus. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. It's not doing much. Now I'm going to turn the power down. That's all the way down. And talk the same way. Now it's over modulating. Badly. One, two, three, four, five. I'll let you look at it like this. Audio is six, seven, eight, nine times. One, two, three, four, five. Splatter box. All right. Let's go a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's the same radio. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Right? It doesn't look bad. But you guys that are wanting to do this and you're getting the negative peak so close and making the customer watch this, you're pissing some people off if you're catching on or not. You're pissing some people off. Alright, I haven't tuned or done nothing to this thing yet, so it is getting warm. I don't want to do too much for it. The screws haven't been out. So I don't want to kill it. Look, see? That's not my plug. Every one of these damn things, the SO239 sucks. Alright, so now, right, pay attention. If you're just into Cobra 29s, you know, you're going to put an amplifier into on your radio just to be, do what our barefoot radios do just move on to another video this is for people that are really wanting great performance okay so anyways let's look at it at one megahertz uh, don't look bad but oh we got a set going on let's check the power set that changes it's a lot worse uh, back to uh, half power all right now let's Kilohertz. Right. Doesn't look bad, does it? Think yeah, it's not bad. Now we watch what was going on with the voltometer, meter, right? Now we know that we can test everything pretty close. We can use the tone to input specific voltages and constants and view things and make measurements. Now let's look at a microphone. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. Audio. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Now let's do. Let's go a little bit further now. Okay. Let's look at the carrier. It has two sidebands. Watch what happens when we get to fifty percent modulation. Perhaps I get it in there. Just at 50% modulation and above. It's a mess. Okay. Audio is 6, 7, 8, 9, time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not much power on the channel you're talking on, huh? Alright, so uh, let's see if it's on frequency. It's warm. Two seven two zero four eight five seven. Yeah, that's way off frequency. Now let's let's do a tone. And we'll use the internal or the external speaker. Our game wide open. At one twenty, we got nothing. Just noise on right, channel 20. Just noise. Well, that's probably why it's here. I don't know how old the radio is, what it's gone through yet. Anyways, I hope some of this is informative. Some of you techs, people that are looking for superior work, you want maximum range clarity and longevity. I don't mess with. Cobras and unidens. 
I'm only exports. Nothing hacked up. The smartest is to buy brand new, really. Become one of my customers and maybe we'll start taking care of some of your radios for you. Stay tuned in, you know who it is. Have yourself an awesome day. Beep, beep, click, click.